Frostpunk is a compelling survival strategy game which combines elements of city building, choice-based narrative, and just plain challenging resource management. For one week, I became obsessed with micromanaging my little ice town and making sure the generator stayed on, playing into the early hours of the morning until I failed and failed again to save humanity from extinction. And I might have started a dictatorship while I was at it. I love the setting of Frostpunk. When a catastrophic Ice Age event hits England, a small group of workers and engineers bands together around a coal generator to survive. Your role is to research the technology you'll need to survive the worsening weather, while maintaining community hope and happiness, which is harder than it sounds. You'll need to collect resources, build mines and factories, while keeping your workers alive to keep the literal home fires burning. You'll also need to make tough decisions, and sometimes being compassionate in Frostpunk is more demanding on your resources. Frostpunk is an unforgiving game. Mistakes you make early in planning have significant consequences for your long-term survival. Run out of wood? You can't build or research. Run out of coal when the weather changes? Your citizens might freeze to death overnight and you'll be left with no one to do the work. These are only exacerbated over time. Every single day counts. A key part of survival is knowing how to heat your city well, whether that's with steam heaters or stockpiling enough coal in the coffers to keep the lights on. One of the biggest mistakes I made is keeping the generator on all the time. It turns out you only have to switch it on when it's freezing. You can choose to enact laws, but sometimes these laws also have negative consequences or require you to construct more buildings, using up your precious resources. Other times they can give you the much needed boost to hope or the occasional propaganda leaflet drop that you need. For example, enacting a 24 hour work cycle can only make your workers unhappy and sometimes they even die from exhaustion. But other times it's necessary to build up the supplies you need to survive. It's this cause and consequence that Frostpunk does so well. These challenging game mechanics will appeal to the micromanagers out there. For those of us who are a bit more lax in our city construction games and prefer to put it on fast forward so you can watch those little buildings grow and little ant people run around, you might struggle with the demanding nature of Frostpunk's resource management. But it is a satisfying game if you master these mechanics. After several failed playthroughs, I survived with only six children alive. Of course, they went all Lord of the Flies on me and banished me to the wilderness. I deserve that, really. I ended up having to read a build guide in order to understand how the game worked better. And this might be one of my small critiques of the game. There's not enough information to understand how quickly you need to build, how the heating system really works or how interlinked things like medical tents are and technology are to the survival of your city. Either that or I'm just bad at this game. Probably the latter, actually. In my failed attempts, my people lost hope and became discontent. I broke my promises to them as a governor. It's a tip for life and for Frostpunk. Don't make promises you can't keep. That I had to start a dictatorship in order to survive, well... As the game's judgmental end screens came up, telling me that humanity had survived, but at what cost? I smugly looked at them saying, I did what I had to survive. In fact, I wondered if it was actually possible to get through the scenarios without taking your colony to the extreme ends of the political spectrum. Despite these frustrations, I couldn't stop playing Frostpunk. The circular design of the city is unique and I appreciated the British steampunk aesthetic here. The game's world building is excellent and you can send scouts out to explore the world. And it's fascinating how the story unfurls through opening up this map. There's a climate change commentary here about our capacity to survive, but it's not designed to hit you over the head with environmental messaging. The biggest plot hole for me is why they're going to the north of England to survive. I mean, if an Ice Age event takes over the world, I am going to Queensland to ride it out. This loose end is explained in a brief mention on the load screen. They built generators to access the large coal seams in the north. Frostpunk is a challenging but rewarding strategy game that would appeal to detail-oriented gamers and those with an appetite for power at the end of the world. For the rest of us, 
we're probably just going to freeze to death. I'm Kat Clay, I'm a video game reviewer and games writer. If you like this video, want to hear more about games and nerd stuff, please do hit subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.